Welcome. This is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I was reading in Psalm chapter 78, and I'll read you what I read. It says, How often they provoked him in the wilderness. This is talking about the children of Israel. And grieved him in the desert. Yes, again and again they tempted God and limited the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember his power the day when he redeemed them from the enemy. This said plainly that his people limited him. How in the world could they limit the Lord God Almighty who has all the power have you ever thought about how God has given us free will and he's given us so much power and sometimes I think that we don't realize how much power we have that would influence our lives one of the first things that comes to my mind about the children of Israel is they lived in doubt and unbelief so much. That's one of the biggest ways that we can limit God is living in doubt and unbelief to what God can do. God can do great and mighty things for us if we trust him and have faith in him but many times we limit him and sometimes when I pray I probably seem like I dictate to the Lord because I have so many suggestions of how he can do this or that but I know God is not saying Oh, I have never thought of that. No, he is God. He knows everything. But a lot of times I'll pray and I'll say, Lord, I think this would be good. But if you see a better way, then I'd rather go the way you want to go. Because I know that God is nothing bad in store for me. His plans are good, but I just don't want to be a hindrance to His blessings in my life. How about you? So don't limit God by doubt and unbelief. And don't limit God by thinking small. Sometimes we can ask God for a particular thing, but when we pray about it we are small in our thinking when God would really smile if you asked for ten times more than that and he wants to bless us so much but we are to be blessed by God so that we can be a blessing to others doesn't that sound like a wonderful way to live it sure does to me Let's don't put a limit on God to what He can do in our lives because He wants to do exceedingly more abundantly in our lives than we can even ask or think. And that would bring such joy in living. And I know I've said this before, but it just shocked me when I heard it. I heard this lady say, nothing good ever happens to me. If you proclaim that kind of thing over your life, that's just going to be a perpetual way to live, just expecting bad things to come to you. I mean, no wonder bad things happen to you if you just think nothing good ever happens God himself is good 
God himself gives us the rain and the sunshine. He does so many wonderful things for us. But you know what? I was talking about how much power we have, how much God has given us in our free will. And one of the main things I think of is when a person lives their life and never accepts Jesus as their Savior. That is definitely limiting God. They do not accept Jesus. So they limit God out of their lives so much that they don't have God in it at all. Hardly. I mean, except for the Bible does say it rains on the just and rains on the unjust the same. There are certain blessings that we all get on this earth, but if we do not accept Jesus as our Savior, then we will end up in an eternal hell without God altogether whatsoever. So, God has given us a lot of power. We have the power to trust God or not. We have the power to accept God or not. We have the power to limit God in our lives or not. Which way do you choose? I choose God. I choose God's way. I want to watch out for that. But I accept Him as my Savior. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.